Amy, thank you so much for being here with me again today. You are such a great friend of us here at Missouri Star. I appreciate you coming. Well, I'm right down the road, I so know. I thought I'd bring you some, some new ideas for cuddle. I love it. I love it. This is a great idea for, you know, it's the gifting season. Christmas is right around the corner. So if you need something for those holiday parties or, you know, for, you know, just a quick gift to give to your friends, then this is a great way to do that. And so Amy and I are wearing some of her patterns that she has made up using yes, cuddle. Yes. yes. Originally, we didn't think about cuddle for these patterns, yeah. but well, the Anytime Topper, which I'm wearing, yes. we've made in a lot of you know, more summer fabrics Absolutely. for like yarn dyed wovens and things like that. But then my mom made this up in the cuddle and we it's were perfect. like, perfect. It's so cozy right. for winter time. Right, yeah. right. And then you're wearing the wherever wrap. Yep, which is, I think it's just so great to, you know, put over a dress or just to elevate an outfit and just add a little warmth mm -hmm. as well. So great options for both of these. Right, And yes. so we, we actually did a tutorial with Amy um, on the Anytime Topper. So you can go back and check that out. And then we're going to dive into all these different Textures. types of cuddle and texture you can yes. get. So tell yes. us some of the things you've learned and we'll go from there. Yes, we've I've going we're going to talk about some tools and techniques and but first of all just the the variety yes. that is offered whether it be color, whether it be pattern. So I was just going to walk you through some of these textures I love and it. um so first of all we have pony over here. So if you want to go for a little western theme. Absolutely. Uh, this is in fact we have the the wherever wrap comes in a mother daughter or adult and child sizing. Yes. And we made a pair of the pony, which I thought was kind of fun. That and is then fun. this is Paloma. It's it beautiful. has a lot more texture. And this one we actually photographed with um, my neighbor's daughter wearing the Paloma. Oh, that's and fun. then um, along with the mink. Oh. And so think of this fabric for weddings absolutely you know if you have a strapless dress you the this fabric is beautiful yep, just to add some elegant sleeves. yes it really is and then thinking of holiday parties this emerald in the oxford i was gonna say that is isn't stunning. that fun it's beautiful well and this um you know just with a little black dress yes and you know some fun jewelry a great pair of earrings and you're yes, ready to go yes yes <laughs> And I want to, you know, when we're talking about the, the Lux Cuddle, what you want to think about too is a little bit about the weight of it. And most of Lux Cuddles are great for like the wherever wrap, but there are a few like um, Arctic is one that just gets too dense and too heavy. So okay. when you are shopping, um, Hyde is this pink, it's beautiful. this blush, I believe. And it's perfect for yeah. the... The wherever wrap it's or the like any tone topper, kind of like a mid weight. It seems yes, like. yes, yeah. yes. It's um anyway, and it's lovely to to sew. Yes, yeah. yeah. I mean, use lots of pins. Right. That's our that's our rule of thumb. Um, this is Mountain Fox. It's pretty too. Um, and it's the pewter beige colorway, I believe. But I love that for just a even this kind of looks great with denim and Absolutely. jeans for a. A totally casual, fun well, and fashion. Well, it's a great way to add the texture of fur that's obviously, you know, a little bit more sustainable and uh, right. friendly to our animal friends, which right. we love. So. <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> yes. We'll stick to we'll Lux stick Cuddle to, for, exactly. for our um, animal prints. Yes. And then this is mink, this that's pattern. Beautiful. Again, this one we've done in, that was the matching combination mm -hmm. I mentioned. So... Yeah, I love this one. It's really beautiful. Yes. I don't know without seeing it in person if I would have picked it online, but mm -hmm. seeing this this beautiful dusty pink is so pretty. Yes, I think that's the rose water colorway. It's gorgeous. Just a little different than the blush over here. Yeah. And then, you know, if you want a, a solid, this is a nice, rich, you know, kind of a um, deep brown. Yeah, chocolatey and, brown. And that's the marble. It's so really pretty. I think all the varieties of texture add so much fun to this. Absolutely, and it, it just goes to show that you can find something for everyone. Mm -hmm. Like one of these is gonna appeal to everyone. And if you have not felt these, they are just like heaven. Yes. Like we could just all lay on yes. here and take a nap for a minute because they're just so snuggly well, and warm, yeah. 
I read, I, I saw Insanely Soft, and that is exactly the what these are. Yeah, um, they're the best. Yes, this one, I, I love wearing it. Yeah, and it's beautiful. The last one there is what you have on, yeah, is which the is seal. the seal. Yeah. And again, that's a little denser and a little heavier. Yeah. So you just have to be aware it, it of that. It feels like a warm hug. Like you're yes. just, it's just so cozy yes. and wonderful. And I love it. And, you know, again, I like that I could just put this on over a little black dress right. and be headed out to a party and be ready to go. Well, and one thing I want to mention too is you're wearing the wherever wrap with oh. an open sleeve, yes, um, not gathered, and then we also have behind you is a version again in that mountain fox texture, yeah. but that has the elastic sleeve, and we actually have a photograph of of again my great neighbors who helped model for me, yeah. She's sitting on her couch in her beautiful family room. But again, these are great to put on if you're just reading a book, yeah. watching TV, uh, you know, yeah, just wherever, wherever wrap. Wherever you are. So, <laughs> yeah, there you absolutely. Go. Um, so do you want to talk about some tips about sure. uh, and the tools you working, use? Yeah. yeah, working with these. Um, so I like when we're working with the cuddle, mm -hmm. you definitely want to use the flat headed pins okay. so you can see where they what are. you're doing yeah. and what you're doing. And we can actually, and I, the other thing I like is either a seam gauge or I even use this hot ruler yeah. for measuring and I can show you. So when you make the wherever wrap, this is, this is the pattern. Um, and you're going to be adding um, a hem around the arm opening, and okay. then you're going to be adding a casing for elastic if you choose to have the gathered okay. sleeve or the gathered sleeve. And when you're pinning for either the hem or the casing, what I like to do is use this ruler and then measure, um, you know, whatever measurement I have. I can use the ruler, either an inch, you know, inch and a half. We do an inch casing. Um, and so, but what you can do is then you can use the ruler to mark because sometimes it's hard to see. Do you need a hand with those? You know what? Sure, miss. Okay. You do want to pull yeah, out a pen for me? Yeah, let me help you. So you snugly put your ruler against your fold and then mark it on each side. So then I usually end up marking it on each side and then going ahead and marketing it in, in the middle as well. And you can see so, how those pins, even with the large flat head, they just kind of disappear. Right. And so you definitely want uh, these types of pins when you're working with these denser cuddles. Right, so I just move along and pin and then eventually come back and add more because that's the other thing with this working with this fabric. You really want to pin well. Yeah. Um, because it does, it's It, it has a little shift. bit of shifting because of the softness of the, the fabric and you know, it's not cotton on the back. And so it's just going to have a little bit of give, but it's worth it to take the time and make it easy for you right. to sew because it really is beautiful to sew once you have it pinned in place. And you're so happy with the finished Oh, product. absolutely. Well, and, um, you know, the the other, once you have your casing made for your sleeve, then you would want to, if you're going to go ahead and um, add elastic, you know, I, of course there's always, you know, you can use a giant safety Absolutely. pin. Absolutely. Um, but the tool that I love, I'm going to show you, is this, um, it's actually a loop turner, turner, loop turner. Yes. And the two of them come in the package. But uh, the way that you use this, and this is great if you're like your kids have a drawstring right, that comes came out, out of their, of their hoodie, like, as yes. they do when you wash them. <laughs> right, this tool will come in handy. Yeah. Um, so I like to when I um, a lot of times I'll leave my opening for my elastic someplace else other than right at the seam. But on this particular sample, I have it right at the seam. Yeah. So then what you're going to do is you insert your elastic in this little clip, and then you also draw it through this hole. Just to really lock it in yes. place. Yes, then you won't lose it when you're halfway through your that, drawing it that's through. That's awesome. <laughs> right, right. And then you, this has a nice long handle, so you then will just slide your elastic all the way through. And I don't know that I have a long enough piece. 
um, at the moment to take it all the way through, but you get the idea. Yeah, absolutely. That's a great So, tool. yes, this is the, again, another great Clover product. Yeah, I love um, that. The other thing that I've that I do with the, the pattern is you actually get videos in these new patterns I've done That's and awesome and even a lookbook so I thought maybe we I could show you some pages from the lookbook absolutely let's do it um, and again the nice thing I that also is we have lots of really nice pictures in the pattern and then there'll be a QR code that'll take you to the lookbook and the videos. But these, I wanted to show you their specific instructions for the Lux Cuddle and working with the fabric. Oh, that's great. And there's that cute little black know, dress. so cute. That's awesome. And it really, two yards, um, you know, will make any size. Um, and we're gonna talk a little bit about the options, but here you can see just what the, the lookbook goes All through and styles. shows you different styles, gives you even ideas of, you know, combinations of fashion well, yeah. using different fabrics, Absolutely. whether you're going to... Because it doesn't have to be cuddle. This could be a great, you know, any time of the year option, but, you know, for the holidays coming oh, up, yes. this is perfect. Yes. So there's, there's my neighbor, Tori, that oh, I was telling so you about. Great. She's wearing the red one yes. with the, yeah, with with that the black, black dress. dress. It's beautiful. And there's the mountain fox. So... It you get the lovely. idea of the fun. Absolutely. That you can and have I with think this you pattern. mentioned because you can get cuddle in two yard cuts. It's a, oh, a, yes. We often have those. And so you have this figured out so that we get what with a two yard yes. cut? Yes, with a two yard cut, which I love these little two yard cuts, you can get a um, two adult okay. or one adult and two child. That's awesome. Yes. So Which is, that, you again, know. perfect if you're, you know, want to make one for yourself and one to give away. Right. It's a great way to really utilize that fabric and make the most of it. I love the snowy owl. It's so beautiful. Wouldn't this be fun for wedding? I just think a bride with a... Oh, a wintertime bride. Absolutely. Yes. I thought I was getting married in spring. I got married at the end of March and then it snowed on my wedding day. Oh, so gosh. that would have been oh, perfect did, for me. Yes. And <laughs> you know, that. that's... And look at this. I love this yeah. color. It, There's just so much... You can have so much fun with these... These beautiful textures. Yeah. yeah. Textures and colors. I gorgeous. think of all sorts of... Even for like getting dressed up for Halloween and you want, you yeah. know, you want something just to cover and keep you warm. Absolutely. So. They're so fun. Well, I think this is such a wonderful project, Amy, and I really appreciate you bringing yes. it. And again, let's show both of those patterns okay. one more time because I am wearing the wherever wrap. You and have this one. I have this one here. And it all, is like a hug. It is like a, a, warm, a warm hug. hug. And Amy has on the anytime, anytime topper. topper. Yep. And both of these have amazing, you know, extras with them, right? Yes, You've included yes. extra videos, lookbooks, all kinds of tips to make sewing them even easier. And so they're just wonderful patterns for you to pick up and enjoy. So mm -hmm. I hope you guys enjoyed this deep dive to learn a little bit about all right. these cuddle textures. And Amy, anything else you want to well, share? Do you want to see some other fabrics? That I would love to. I, we made the wear of a wrap out of We've done a lot with the Anytime Topper with the video that we filmed. Yes. So people have seen, you know, yarn dyes and flannels Absolutely. in this pattern. But I'd love to show you a few of the well, other options for the wear of a wrap. Let's do that. Let's clear some of this cuddle out of the way and we'll come okay. back and show you that. Sounds good. All right. So like Amy mentioned, this is not a project only for cuddle. So oh. she has brought a bunch of other samples to talk about. So let's go yes. through these. Well, the pattern lends itself to cottons, knits. I mean, really, yeah. we'll even get into a, an upcycled option. I love that. You'll never guess. <laughs> um, so here we have a rayon batik. Beautiful. And you can just see how gorgeous. And because it's dyed, if you do happen to see the the wrong side of the fabric, either through the armhole yeah. or through um, the sleeve, I love the gauze. Oh, the, this the might double be double gauze is so beautiful. Yes, and you know the fun thing with the gauze is you could actually. Um, make a little bag and oh, that's roll this wrap up and keep it in your And purse. be perfect for travel. Right, yeah, right. That's if you're at a true. restaurant with a little air conditioning that's a Just little too, too cool. chilly. Yeah. yeah. And then another one of my favorite fabrics is the um, shot cotton. Yeah. Case. 
facets shot cotton. And this particular color, you can see sometimes those shot cottons have two different color yarns, mm -hmm. so you get almost like an iridescence. Yeah, kind of glow um, to it. Yeah, and the fun thing too um, that lends itself to the cotton or that type of fabric is the sleeve length. So this pattern not only has three different sizes, but it has three different sleeve lengths. Oh, great. So you have a wrist, you have a three-quarter, and then above the elbow. So this particular is the above the elbow style, and I have a fun picture of my daughter wearing it. Yeah. Um, but the other thing to think about too, when you're thinking about different fabrics, you might use different widths of elastic. Sure. So you can see here, we went with a smaller width because of the fabric, where we wouldn't go this small if we were making it out of the cuddle. Absolutely. Well, and you know, if you're doing it out of cotton, it can change the style that you get. And so you might have a preference even, like maybe you still want the wider elastic, but it will definitely look different. Yes. Yeah. It, and in fact, with the knit that we did, we did a really wide elastic and it just, it, it does give it a little different yeah. styling. Um, now for the, do uh, you want to see? Well, I'm wearing one. Absolutely. That is, so this was actually a quilt top. I love that it. really w didn't lend itself to be quilted into a quilt. Sure. Um, it was a little wonky and and so we put it the piece and it wasn't big enough. It was a you know somebody's orphan yeah um, out there. So we did go ahead and add a really lightweight lining to it. Sure. So so you didn't I have thought, the rot it seems, but it's yes. so fun. <laughs> well, and then it inspired the vintage version inspired us to try doing a pieced version. I love that. With combining um again this is Kaif, some of his prints, his stripes and the shot cottons. And really what I love about this is it shows how even if you're thinking of quilting and combining the different substrates, they do work well together. Yeah, These fabrics beautiful. just have beautiful drape. So again, we did we did add a bigger cuff on the sleeve. Yeah. And you could, of course, gather. And another, um, thinking of a little bit of upcycling or recycling, this was actually a vintage tablecloth. Oh, I love that. So you can imagine how gorgeous this is with um, just wearing it as sleeves. Sure. Could be elegant, again, for, you know, cocktail party, but at the same time, really fun, casual. Absolutely. Casual wear. And then, oh. of course, there's Christmas morning, right? Yes. <laughs> And everybody has their matching PJs. Yes. I've seen your family. Oh, we do. The picture. We go all out. <laughs> well, this year, Misty, you need to make everybody polar fleece matching wherever wraps there we for go. Christmas morning, okay? <laughs> to so, cozy up. Yes. Either the candy cane or I do love this um, This just traditional. You can yeah. wear this one all winter That's long. That's true. And, um, but it does, you know, polar fleece is easy to work with. Absolutely. And, and um, so, again, you know. With this, with any thicker fabric, you do want a wider casing and that thicker elastic. So, um, I love that. Yep, there it is. The, the wherever wraps. Yes, and we're always thinking up new ideas for it. I was so, going to say, um, I always love your patterns, Amy, because they're just so versatile and there's so many options. Well, so thank you for coming and being yes. willing to share more of your expertise. And be sure to check out all of her patterns. Right. And you have a, a newsletter. Right. And so t where can people find you? Uh, amyberrickman.com and yes be sure to sign up for my newsletter I send it out regularly with you know my best ideas yes. <laughs> new patterns when I get to come visit Misty I might share my travel Absolutely. story and uh, and you know of course finding vintage treasures like these is another one of my favorite things to share absolutely well hopefully we'll see you again real oh, soon thanks Misty. <laughs> thank it you it was fun being here absolutely we'll see you all later Hey everyone, it's Misty. Thanks for watching at home. If you aren't already a part of our Missouri Star family, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell if you want a notification every time we release a new video. I'll see you next Monday on the newest episode of At Home.